Hey, what's going on? Welcome. Thanks for joining me. This is RJ's Cave. And this time, guys, we're doing it again. We got another box. This is actually take two of the great Galari unboxing. Uh, AKA the Great Disaster. I had a better name, but I forgot it. So we're just going to go with that for now. So <laughs> basically, yeah, take two, the Great Galari Disaster. So what happened was, if you saw the uh, last video, the last attempt at an unboxing video, uh, you saw that we got that box open and the guitar inside was actually damaged. I had to send it back, right? So real quick, before we get op we actually open this. So right away, I got in touch with Walmart and started the return. Uh, and they immediately uh, just, my, my option was to drop it off at FedEx, which I did then the very next day. And about two hours after I dropped it off, the refund was in my account. So right away, I went back to the same seller at Walmart. Okay. I went back to the same guy and uh, I ordered another one. But while I was ordering another one, I noticed that he had, well, at this point, I should just stop and show you. Okay. So we're going to do this, right? So we're going to take a look at what we got here. All right. All right. So now, before we open up the guitar inside, the George Foreman grill, we got some goodies in here. All right. That's the wire, the, the jack for the guitar, uh, the tremolo bar, and a couple of Allen keys. So we know it's got a trim, All right? We got a strap, all right? A small strap, probably a very short strap. We're going to see. And we got a gig bag. It's just a basic vinyl gig bag, uh, basic protection, no padding. But you know what? It works. So we'll check that out. Now, let's see. Do we get a second broken guitar? All right. All right, we're going to, this time around, if you watched the last video, you saw this. So, you know about my grandma and Christmas and wanting to make sure we unwrap things neatly so she can reuse the paper. Well, this time around, oh, nope. Sorry, I had to wait another week for this guitar. So, and that's another part of this. Uh, the whole thing took a, a week. The day I am recording this now is exactly exactly one week after I unboxed the last video. All right. So within a week I had refund my, my money refunded and, the, and this was already returned. And then on top of that, I, I was able to order a new one and get it shipped to my door for, uh, for the exact same day. It was one week later. So that's pretty awesome. Now, uh, before I unveil the rest of this guitar, I should let you know that when going back to the story about Walmart was when I was over there at K Taxon, K T A X O N. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. When I went over to their web uh, to their page and uh, I saw that they actually had Glary guitars, more Glary guitars, same price, sixty nine dollars. But then they had this. Now, if you notice, it has no name on the headstock. So this is not technically a Glary. But I got to tell you, first impression, this thing is, looks pretty good. I, I got to be honest, my initial impression with the last one, aside from the damage that was done to it, was that it was looked a lot better than it actually looked in pictures. All right. And that's, you know, that's just how uh, uh, that, that that's the same here. So uh, I'm actually very impressed with the way this looks overall. The fretwork feels good. I'm very impressed with the fretwork on this, guys. I really am. I really am. Um, the finish
Well, that might be our first floor. We'll see. <laughs> it is, but we're not going to worry too much. We're going to take a look at that in a second. I'm still looking at the finish. All right. So, the fit looks good on the neck and the neck pocket. The finish looks good. The neck feels nice. It's, I think it's still a C. Yeah, I'd say that's a C curve, but it's not modern. It's a little bit thicker than that. It's not bad. It's not a thick, thick neck or anything like that. It just feels slightly more meaty than you would expect on a guitar that looks like this, because these are usually shredder guitars. This wouldn't necessarily qualify it as a shredder guitar. The neck is bare, all right? And I say bare because I feel like it literally is bare. No sealer, no anything like that. That's not necessarily a bad thing at all. A couple of coats of tongue oil will make this guitar well protected and smooth as butter. Uh, the tuners look pretty good. Now this is just appearance, all right? This is just appearance. I'm checking now to see if I can see any bumps, any level leveling that needs to be done just on eyesight. I'm just running my eyes down the edge here and I'm looking to see if I see any bumps. And I'm seeing what looks to be pretty level, guys. This is, I'm gonna have to plug this in in a minute. But let me address this. All right. All right, I gotta spread the string post on that, I think. I think they're both a little loose. Shh, it's okay. So I can get it without yanking too much on the video. I actually have a screwdriver right here. I'm just gonna try and spread. Don't do this at home unless you know what you're doing. You gotta be very careful with this kind of thing. You just wanna spread things out a little bit. This was the big culprit right here. All right. Now, it could entirely be that this is shot on the inside. It's plastic on the inside. But with just a little spreading, that seems to have helped. And it also might be the wrong one. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Free fix. Boom. -boom. All right. I'm going to check real quick, make sure it's in tune with this. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to plug it in here because this thing's got a tuner. It's plugged in. And, uh, we're going to give this thing a quick once over. Got to do this, right? This is the plastic pieces. This is the plastic protecting the uh, humbuckers, the, the, the pickups. All right. So give me a second here, guys, and I'm going to plug it right in. So, so far, guys, I really am impressed. Looks wise. This thing is pretty spot on. I wasn't expecting it to be anywhere near this good at this price because this one, I would, I didn't finish telling you guys the story. Uh, this one, I actually picked this one up for less than I did the last one because it doesn't have the, it's not branded. This one was actually $65.99. Okay. <laughs> Plus tax, I was in it for $72. Shipped to my door. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, so let's get into this, all right? Let's... I'm actually kind of excited for it. I thought this was just going to be like, oh, wow, yeah, it's, a, it's an okay guitar. Uh, this might actually be decent. I'm, I'm hopeful. Uh, I mean, it's that cheap that I don't expect much from the pickups, but we're going to find out. All right.
Uh, guys, I'm going to have to play around with this. Overall, I think it's not bad. I'm going to give you a review at a later date. Okay? I got to play around with this, and there's no point in me keeping you guys around in suspense. This is the almost a glary, almost a burning fire electric guitar. <laughs> Uh, I got some plans for it. We'll discuss that in the future, guys. So, uh, but overall, I don't think, like right now, without getting too deep, I think this is a good, solid beginner instrument. All right, but we're gonna get a, I'm gonna get a review going for you guys real soon. So check it out. Uh, don't forget, guys. We're on this journey. We're on with music. It's a bit of a magic journey as well. So I know, yeah. It, Yada yada. Just, uh, <laughs> if uh, you know what I mean, you've heard me say this before. When you're pursuing music, you really kind of are pursuing magic. So, uh, in, at least in the real world, it's the closest we can get, right? So, uh, in my mind, anyway. So, go out there, learn how to make music so you can make magic. And uh, don't forget, uh, if you want to see more reviews like this, hit one of these buttons, okay? When you do that, you help you help defeat a guitar player. That guy being me. So, uh, don't forget, hit the like. Hit the like button, notification bell, and and, uh, and the subscription button too, guys. All right. Thanks again. This is RJ's Cave. This is the almost a glary, not a glary, uh, future project. All right. Thanks again, guys.